Actually, we look a little bit more put together. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter. Welcome back to the vlog. Honestly, today I just really didn't want to vlog. I just, I wasn't in it. I feel like I've been doing so good with vlogging lately. And then the last couple days, I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do anything. I just want this to be over. But anyways, I was like, you know what, Michaela? You feel your best when you're vlogging, when you're editing, when you're busy, when you're doing stuff. So I was like, you know what? Get up off your butt and vlog. And so that's what I'm doing. So don't really have any plans or goals for this vlog. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go downstairs make myself another whipped coffee because I've had two already, two, yeah, two. And I, you guys, I love them. They're really good. So I'm gonna make another one. Uh, I'm gonna stream online service for Easter Sunday. I might clean my house a little bit. My house is getting a little bit dirty. I should probably like vacuum and mop and that kind of stuff. Just another excuse to use my steam mop because I'm so in love with it. Okay, the hair had to go up in a bun. I just, usually, does, does anyone else feel this with me where you like get ready, you do your makeup all cute, you fix your hair up and then like five minutes later you're like, it's gotta go up in a bun. That's where I'm at right now. I am gonna put in some cinnamon rolls. Even though it's noon and I probably should be eating lunch, it's Sunday and it's Easter, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be making cinnamon rolls. 400, okay. Start the grabby pan. Grab some tin foil, because all of my pans are crusty and everything will stick. Align them. Okay, so let's open up these bad boys. By the way, I did my nails last night, so now I'm nervous I'm gonna ruin them. I just put a gel polish on because the gel that I had put on pretty much peeled all the way off. Once again, nail biter, nail biter. I don't know if you're supposed to wrap the wrapper wrapping off. I don't know, I just always do. Is this the seam? <laughs> so scared. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I was like, you're open, just pop already. Okay, we got cinnamon rolls. I just need to break up. And then we need to bake these for 13 to 17 minutes. I find that 15 minutes is a good happy medium. The ice cream truck is back. I mean, let's all like social distance and not be around people. But I mean, the ice cream truck is okay. Okay, so I'm making my my whipped coffees if I invented it. No, the whipped coffee again because I am really liking it. Okay, sorry if you guys can't hear me very well because my AC is on, but I have my coffee all whipped. Y'all, I love this stuff. First of all, like, does anyone else think that this looks like peanut butter? Like I, it looks just like super creamy, ha, sound, super <laughs> creamy peanut butter. Just for the satisfaction, because I know everyone loves to watch this, but, woo. <laughs> oh, I make the weirdest faces. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of this in real quick. My online service with my church is just about to start, so I want to pop on over into my living room. I'm gonna make the long trek to my living room. So straw in there. Should we get like a little cutesy, little metal straw? Oh gosh, and we dropped it. Jeez, Michaela, get your life together. Take two. And we can't even focus here. And the ice cubes are stuck together. Okay guys, so I just finished church service online. Loki kind of cried a little bit. Um, it was really good and then they showed this video clip and I'm just like sitting on my couch by myself just like It's so funny because I was just thinking about this Easter is so different compared to last Easter and what we were doing like last year. It's like, cause my husband and I, we always go to church every Sunday um, and Easter Sunday, you know, we're always either with friends or we're cooking yummy food or we're just like out enjoying the sun. We don't have any kids, so we don't do like Easter egg hunts or anything like that, but we're always together. And obviously this year, you know, we're not together and with everything going on, having service 
on my TV instead of actually going. It's just weird and it's different. Like last year, I, we were living in Hawaii and so I was a part of our hula ministry. So I was like dancing and just like, just having an amazing time. And now it's like, it's just so different compared to last year. So it puts a lot of things into perspective. And it's just interesting to think about like, how much things can actually change in a year. So it's just crazy. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? You gonna go for a walk? Come here. Oh, God. come here. Come here. You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> He loves that word. I think we're gonna go for a walk because it's really nice out. It's about 77 and it's really breezy out. So I think it'll be fine to go for a walk. And honestly, it's just such a nice sunny day out. And last night the weather was, the weather was like thunder, lightning, like really bright lightning. It woke me up out of my sleep because it was so intense. It was raining. There was a tornado watch that was like in my area, which the tornadoes are scary, but it's like, I don't have a shelter. I don't really have a place where I can go like hide if a tornado comes. So it's like, like take me to Oz because I don't really have a place that I can hide if a tornado comes. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. So I was kind of like, whatever, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. But yeah, it was really crazy weather last night and now it's beautiful, clear, sunny skies. The weather's amazing. So I'm like, you know what? Today is a gift and we're gonna go out and enjoy it. Let's go for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> He's like, all right, let's go. You wanna go for a walk? All right, go get your leash. Go get it. Go get your leash. Go get it. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh we're excited, we're excited. <laughs> okay, we got happy feet. We got happy feet right now. Okay, let's try and do this one-handed. Good boy, stay. Bubby, this is uh, like a little tight on you. You can do some more push-ups, buddy. You can do some more laps around the backyard. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I just took my sweater off because it's already warm outside, but <laughs> I just have my tank top on and then my jeans and my, my shoes. I didn't want to put another outfit on just to go for a walk around the block. So this is, this is what we got, but I need to get a... Can, can you calm down, please? I need to get a little poop bag for him because I hate when people don't pick up their dog's poops and it's really inconsiderate, so. I need my sunglasses. just got back from a walk. It is hot out there, but it was actually kind of nice because it was super breezy out. Whenever we go out on this walk, there's this one dog that lives across the street from our cul-de-sac that Chance, he does not like. He is not a fan of, and Chance does really good with like 95% of the dogs he encounters. Like the only time he doesn't really do, <laughs> he's going upstairs to take a nap now under the bed. <laughs> the only time he doesn't do good with other dogs is if they're like a male and they're super dominant over him. He is like quote unquote aggressive towards them in a sense of like, Bro, like back up, like back up. Um, but for whatever reason, this dog, like whenever chance, whenever we, cause we have to walk by their backyard to go, like go on our walk thingy. Ooh, my hair, <laughs> very nice. For whatever reason, whenever this dog is out, like it does not like chance, chance does not like it. Chance tries to like lunge for this dog and will like growl at him, which he does not do, especially when he's on a leash. Like he'll sometimes cry cause he wants to like play, but he's never aggressive. But with this dog, something about it, him, this dog gives Chance weird vibes and he always tries to like lunge for him. Other than that though, we did really good on our walk. <laughs> okay, so the sweat pants are back on. I got my fan noise, you guys might not be able to hear me so well, but I think I'm just gonna tidy up my house a little bit. I need to make my bed, put my laundry away. I think I'll probably maybe do a quick wipe through the bathrooms and then sweep and mop, and then it is chill o'clock after that. So, let's get to it. By the way, I just wanted to say I hate filming in my bedroom just because my bedding is not the best. I have like a plain comforter that doesn't have anything. It's just like a plain like down comforter. It's super old by the way, 
Um, I have that and then I have a blanket that I put over it, but honestly, I want to get like another duvet cover. I really want to kind of get like a, like a denim type of vibe, like a light blue, because I feel like that would go really well with the white and the gray and the beige on the bedding and it's like super neutral. My husband loves blue, so I feel like that would be a good happy medium for the both of us. I can't find one that I like or it just doesn't look like it's good material or that it would rip. I've been looking on Amazon, Target, um, Bed Bath & Beyond. I even looked at Pottery Barn, but <laughs> that, that won't happen. That will not happen. But anyways, a girl can dream, right? So anyways, I'm trying to look for a duvet cover, but that's why I honestly just don't film in here that often just because it's not <laughs> not aesthetically a pleasing a pleasing it's not aesthetically pleasing is that how you say it i don't know i am not with the trend people i try to be and it's just a fail sweatpants are in full effect i'm actually just going to eat some more cinnamon rolls because i'm hungry again and i made a bunch but I'm gonna hang out on the couch i'm actually going to watch a movie i'm gonna watch passion of the christ which I know. First of all, yes, I know it's a super intense movie. My husband and I usually watch it every year, just once a year. I could not watch it more than that, to be honest. It's just, for me, it's like just a good reminder and reflection of, as a Christian, like what Christ went through on the cross. And it just really puts a lot of things in perspective about just like life and how grateful we are and how much God loves us and everything. And so we usually watch it together once a year. He's not here, so I'm gonna watch it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, totally get that. Um, sometimes it's not my cup of tea, but I just, I don't know just once a year, like during Easter and everything, and just as a reminder of everything you went through. Alrighty guys, so it is a little bit after eight o'clock. I didn't take any meat out for dinner. It looks like I'll be eating PB&J sandwiches again for dinner, which I'm totally fine with. So by the way, I just wanted to apologize because I did not film cleaning up my house. I said I was gonna clean my house and then I just didn't film and I wanna say that I forgot, but I didn't. Um, those of you who have filmed Clean With Me videos, you know how hard it is to film those and how time consuming they are. And honestly, I just wanted to clean my house and be done with it. So yeah, I skipped over that, sorry. But I basically just cleaned my bathrooms, sweeped, mopped, vacuumed, that whole shebang. Still didn't put away my laundry. It's still folded and sitting downstairs. So one day it'll make it upstairs. Yeah, I'm getting low on my jam, you guys, and I'm getting kind of nervous. I'm finally watching Outlander tonight, the new episode. <sighs> Y'all, they played me. I was so excited to watch the new episode after the last episode. If you guys are up to date, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say anything, but you know what I'm talking about if you're up to date. And I got all ready. And I sat down and I was like, all right, let's pick back up from this hot mess that ended last week. And there wasn't a new episode. There was nothing on there. I like literally, no, no, nothing on there. I guess they skipped a week. And all I have to say was that was not okay. I was not fine with that. They did not run that decision by me and mm -mm, I'm not very happy about it. And you don't leave people hanging like that. No pun intended. All right. Sandwich is made. I've gotten to the point where I'm just like way too lazy and I don't even care to cut my sandwiches anymore. We got some regular potato chips. I don't know why I've been craving like just like plain old potato chips lately. I don't know why, but. Dinner is served. Okay, I just got out of the shower. Getting fresh and clean. It is a little after 11.15. Actually, I think it's almost 11.30. Does anyone else like struggle with having a routine as far as like, you know, when you go to bed, when you wake up. I keep saying like, you know, I want to go to bed at a certain time so I can get up at a certain time, but I keep struggling with the fact that it's like, I don't have anywhere I need to be. I don't have anywhere I need to go. Like it's not detrimental if I don't get up a certain time, if I sleep in late because I, I literally have nothing going on. And it's like, I keep making myself feel like bad or guilty if I stay up too late. Like if I stay up at like 1 or 2 a.m. because I just have, I have a hard time falling asleep as it is. But then it's like, I feel super bad if I sleep in late, but then it's like, I don't have anywhere I need to, <laughs> oh, we're getting risky over here. Um, I don't have anywhere I need to be. Okay, much better. Just using my Clinique clarifying lotion to wipe off any extra dead skin. 
I exfoliated my face and then washed it with a facial soap in the shower. So it should be pretty clean, but I just love this stuff because it just removes any extra dead skin that's on your face so that you have like a bare barrier for your moisturizer to seep into your skin and I love it. And it's got a really nice, cool, refreshing, refreshing feeling. Next, I'm using the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. This has retinol in it. This is what I've been using lately. Not sure if it's working. I've just been using it on my forehead and right in between my brows because I have like, if I, I go like that a lot. <laughs> so I've been noticing a lot of lines right here. And then I don't know if you guys can see it all, but sometimes I'll get like a line like right there. So I've just been putting this right on my forehead every night and then kind of like right in here. Hopefully it's making a difference. I don't really notice it, but I also start my face like all day long every day, so who knows. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Clinique All About Eyes under eye cream. I love this stuff. I have so much like mascara on my eyes now. This is why I never like wear any mascara, hardly ever, because I hate cleaning it up after I get out of the shower. And then lastly, I am going to be going in with my Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel Cream. I've been using this stuff lately and I really like it. It's got salicylic acid in it, so it's really good for hydration, like plumping the skin. And it's nice and hydrating, but it's not super like thick or heavy feeling. So I just run that all over my face, down my neck. It's a good time to like massage your skin, help boost. Your skin elasticity, always go in upward motions. I really like to press in here because I feel like it helps with like any drainage going on in my navel area. So now my skin is really good. All right, hopefully you guys can see me in this angle. I am in bed right now. I'm just watching Riverdale. I haven't seen that show in so long. I was really into it for a while and then I stopped watching it because I I think I just got bored of it for some reason and I just like couldn't like keep my attention so I just stopped watching it but I'm finishing season three right now um because I just need something to watch to be honest I'm like running out of ideas to have tv shows to watch so if you guys have any ideas let me know but I hope you guys had a great Easter I know this was just so different compared to probably last year's Easter for a lot of people I know it was for myself and for my husband so I hope you guys were able to enjoy it with family I was about to say family and friends, but I hope you enjoyed it with family if you were able to. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog and I will see you in the next one.